market room in them. They come the round table with the deputy governor of the state, then our comrade Philly Shaibu. They come begin the follow and they talk, make them understand the things where they face. And not be only them sit down. The chairman of Ego local government council, Ego Bermudia, she said she did the meeting. Now, so the commissioner for local government and chieftaincy title matter, Jim Ojebai, he said they, now they come begin the reason this matter with the deputy governor. Now, the deputy governor of the state, now you come make them understand, say, the governor don't give go ahead. Send me the private company. Their hand don't come out for this matter. The market, it don't turn to the property of a go local government. And the go local government go come get opportunity to take down the market where well. Based on say many market women, they no get store again. People will get store before. They come begin the sell market for outside. He say all these ones don't turn thing of the past because these things, it don't come up for the private hand. It don't turn within the say, go local government council. Now in come the hand around. We need investors to come to our state and we encourage investors. And we have also put in a lot of machineries to make sure that Edo State, in ease of doing business, Edo State is also going to be among the first, if not first, but among the first three in ease of doing business in our state. First, we've been able to provide security. We've been able to make the environment enabling for investors to come, to take advantage of not only our location, but Edo State geographical location is such that any company that come to establish its own factory here will break even easily because of our location. But at the same time, we also encourage companies to go into proper contractual agreement to the extent that both the company and us government we be able to meet our own part of the agreement. It's obvious that this contract was very shabby from the documents that were before this committee. The contract was very shabby, a lot of errors, and at the end of the day, it does not give room for proper financial management because if you were to take facility to build if, uh, a market such as this, and with the infrastructure that I was supposed to provide, we expected that there should have been a tidy document. And this document was signed to the extent that even the governor of the state, there was no approval. It was all done ab initio not to work, flowing from the committee investigation. And how can you enslave a local government in this recession, in this period of economic downturn, to have 25 years without having any access to such a property? So I think also this must be a lesson to some of our local government and those that will be going into business or MOU of any kind we should do something that has human face and that will give real value to why we are building or doing any of these businesses. We are ready to do business with any company that is ready to join us to develop our state because we have make up our mind that the only way a state can grow to that height that we want to take it is when investors come to our state. And when we are able to make sure that private sector drive our own economy in our state, because elsewhere that we go, it's the economy, the catalyst that moves the economy is the private sector. And that is what we are doing in our state. For us, our government will continue to provide the enabling environment to make sure that your business are safe and you're able to break even. For the market women, I, I also want to salute, and the traders, I want to salute your courage because this petition was from you, and Mr. Governor asked that we follow up with the petition before we solve these lapses. We have decided, Mr. Governor, have approved that we revoke this contract, and also from the findings of the committee, uh, we 
we had to settle the company with a sum of 16 million eight hundred and six thousand three hundred and twenty one Naira as costs, as entitlement for the project, having collected 267,286,820 Naira, of which when you deduct that from the total value of work done, what is left? Is 60 million. So that answer the trader that was talking about why still pay money. We must do things with human face. The company obviously did not do its own part because ab initio, there was timeline for this project to be completed. And that timeline were not met. And that already contradicts the MOU that was signed by both parties. So as a result, that decision was taken. We want to free this property for the local government to, be, to make maximum use of that property and also for the trader to have a, a, an environment where they can do their businesses without any hindrance. So this decision was taken for that purpose. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you very much.